When I compare the environments that I've worked in versus the environments that my parents worked in, I think it's really important to understand the difference in what it takes to be successful in these different environments. We, as black people, sometimes need to question some of the advice that we get from our well-meaning black parents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends, right? And they mean well. They're trying to help us. They're trying to give us advice that's going to protect us and keep us from harm. I think, you know, in, in the professional environments that we're in, collaboration is key which means that relationships are key, which I think, you know, on some levels may not have been a requirement in some of the environments that some of our parents have worked in. So I think we just have to be really careful about examining the advice that we get to make sure that it makes sense for us and the environments that we're working in. When I talk about baggage, I'm not talking about suitcases and carry-on bags. Baggage refers to pain or strong negative emotions due to unresolved issues, experiences, or traumas from the past. This baggage hinders your ability to live in the present and build healthy relationships. When it comes to your job, you may doubt that you have baggage, especially when you've never had a full-time professional job. But your baggage may have been created by the experiences and advice of others. The more cautionary the advice, the more it shapes how you feel about the corporate world or employment in general. For example, many people are told that they shouldn't divulge details about their personal lives at work. They're taught that they should maintain a barrier between the professional and personal versions of themselves. While the people who gave you that advice may have had the best of intentions, it may not be relevant for the space you stepped into. In addition, if a family member or friend went through a tough or unfair experience at work, we may take on some of his or her residual bitterness anger, or stereotypes about corporate culture based on how we saw that person being treated. I'm not saying we shouldn't take any advice from those around us, but we also can't take every piece of advice at face value. We need to examine the source and relevance of the information.